Welcome to Tales from the Caveside, where Lillian and Chris, we bought a cave house and finca on the outskirts of a small Spanish town. Follow us as we learn to renovate and create a home that we will be proud of. Lovely sunny Sunday and we are off out. We're getting to, this is getting to be a good habit. Little legs there, stop destroying things. So we're going to see Andy and Sharon from Finca Life. I haven't seen their property for a couple of years actually. So it'll be nice to see it in real life as to how they're progressing. And we've made, um, this is my homage to Fortiata. Made some breads. So that one's tomato and cheese on the top. And that one is garlic and rosemary. And Chris has made a coleslaw and we're taking some potato salad. Yes. We're going for a barbecue. Oh, yes. Looking forward to it. There's the slaw I've made. It's got apple in it as well. Really nice apples too. And a potato salad. So we get them uh, wrapped up. This is cling film doesn't cling. No, that's weird, isn't it? It is. It's a really, really hot and hazy day. It's a bit of an optical illusion, really. It's, the camera's making the sky look a lot bluer than it is. It's actually a light pale blue, isn't it? It's in all the haze. Yeah. But crikey, it's hot. Not sure what the temperature is. Sound, I don't know if the camera picked it up, but the sound of the cicadas is absolutely brilliant. It's a real summery sound, isn't it? It is, yeah. We see it all the time, but we have some lovely views just travelling around. There's a place coming up here on the right hand side. I think it's brilliant. I'd love to own that. Land and it's it looks great. <sighs> Don't know who owns it. It's not up for sale. And we never see anybody there. Critique away. <laughs> Critique away. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to start with the caves that they've been doing. Yeah. This is a little hole they've got. Inspection. <laughs> what do you reckon? It's awesome. Okay. It's a really good space. For storage. It looks not good now. Not for getting in and out of. Yeah it, yeah, it looks bigger than when I was in there. It really does. You got in there? Yes. Okay. Did you fold double? Triple. Yeah, okay. getting out, but yeah. going yeah. in. That's when it was smaller as well. Yeah, I use, I used my belly to bounce out. Ah, uh, okay. A bit okay. like one of those space hoppers. That's a really big space. Yeah, I still don't know 100% what we're going to use it for, but... Um, no, I'm sure you'll do something with it, good with it, though. Yeah, just seemed a shame to block it up, really. For sure, for sure, yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's nice. Fill it with and alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Fill it with alcohol. <laughs> that's the best way. I used, this is doing really well, isn't it? Yes. Mm. Yes, yeah, lovely and chocolate. Oh, nice bit of marble there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so the old like the window, window has come out. Yeah. For the first time, we've got glass in our window now. A few gaps around the side we've still got to fill in, yeah. but uh, it's looking much better. Extra ventilation. <laughs> <laughs> this room on your videos does not come across the size that it actually is. Really? Yeah. It's completely different seeing it in real life. It's much bigger than it comes across on video, yeah. I think since we stripped off all the plaster there as well, it makes it... Some, somehow it's opened yeah. it, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Lots to do. Oh, yes. Rockery. <laughs> yes. Yes, cairn. <laughs> <laughs> More than we that. Won't, we won't ask who's buried under the cairn. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, what other yeah. bits haven't you seen? Well, the, room, the room that I first came into, <clears throat> last time I saw that, it was nothing. None of the cabinets had been done. You were just building the walls for the toilet. Right. Wow, yeah. that's a long time ago. It is, yes. Yeah. yeah, you forget, don't you? Yeah. It's so, lovely. So these were the original animal troughs. Yep. And um, the rings are still there. Andy's just made these lids so that we can use them for storage. Um, and in the corner here was just a big hole because above is the hay loft. And it was full of hay and a big chute. And they obviously used to just send it down the chute into the corral for the animals. Yeah, no, love it, love it. And the way you've removed some of the plaster and left some of it. Yes, it's, yeah. Mainly because it was so difficult to get it off. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it's aesthetically pleasing. 
pleasing. It was a, it was a design feature. Yes. <laughs> Not rustico. <laughs> That's what we say for everything. Everything's a rustico. Yeah. yeah. It's lovely. And much, again, it's much bigger than it looks on video. So that's the oven that I helped Andy get. Okay. Well, pick up, should I say. Yes, yeah. Somebody's blackened all the all the yes. wraps on it, haven't yeah, they? So we can hopefully clean that off. Yeah, for sure. Um, that's going to be quite a, cent a, a centrepiece, isn't it? Yeah. Obviously. But where you start with building it, I don't know. <laughs> But that's Andy's job. I just... <laughs> if anyone's seen our videos, no, I just do the clearing up. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, a normal electric or a gas oven just wouldn't be in keeping here. So. No, no, yeah. no, it wouldn't. I mean, we, we're, we've been able to use gas, incorporate gas and electric because we've made a more modern kitchen as opposed to a, yes. Yes. a more traditional and we, kitchen. And we've also got access to the grid <laughs> yes. for the electricity. Yes. This, this all, all being working off solar, you can't totally have... Totally off grid. Yeah. 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 You can't take the risk of suddenly not having the power that you need to cook your evening meal. That's right. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, Yes, but the rest of the room is um, <laughs> work in storage, progress. Work story. in progress. Yeah, a long way to go. <laughs> that, that's, that's the problem we have as well. We've got so much space, as you know, mm -hmm. we know how to store anything. Well, we've had an absolutely awesome afternoon. Guess we have when the ball. Yes. Really good. Nice food. Good company. Yes. And on our way home now to see if there is uh, any destruction, fingers crossed, or not. Yes. <laughs> I don't think there'll be any destruction. But I think there'll be an incredibly excited Dover who won't know what to do with himself. Yes. Right, we just got back home. Let's see how bad the dogs are, or how good they are. Be alright if I got the right key. Run free! It's not that bad. Hello, Dover, mate. I know. I know. We're back home. I know. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, good lad. Thanks for watching Tales from the Caveside. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Drop us a like and leave us a comment. See you on the next one.